With the restock of the EZ350 V2 in the bone colorway, we see the release of a new color, and that is in an all black. So getting to review the sneaker, basically just go ahead and watch my review of the EZ350 V2 bone, and just imagine it in a triple black. What's up everyone, aloha, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Steven and today we'll be reviewing the EZT50 V2 in the Onyx colorway. Before diving into the sneaker, let's take a quick overview of the box. So nothing different here, just your typical EZT50 V2 copper box with the official colors as Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. With that said, diving right into the sneaker, taking a look at the upper, we do have a Planet upper. And this is actually made out of recycled materials. You do get a tag along with the sneaker that says made with recycled materials. And it's actually part of Adidas Gold and Plastic Waste, so that's pretty cool. And if you guys haven't seen my review of the bone, I do say that there is a pattern change on the primated upper. So if you take a look at the forefoot and on the rear foot, you do see a pattern. And actually it is easier to see on the middle side. We do see a pattern change. So basically there is no pattern on the midfoot basically like a flat design and compared to the rest of the sneaker it is actually a, a thinner material going towards the middle of the sneaker we do have the easy signature knit starting from the back going down towards the front of the shoe take a look at the lateral step we do have the signature stripe and this is done in the semi translucent black and because it is in black it is not as translucent as it was on the bone colorway so you won't be able to see through them as much moving on towards the laces we do have regular rope laces done in black and these are the ones that you can tie, not the infinity laces. And finishing up the overall look of the shoe in the back, we do have a heel tab. And like I said in the bone review, it does look weird without the pull tab. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? To me, it just looks weird without one. Like I said, it just gives like a nice overall look. Moving on towards the inside of the sneaker, going down the heel, we have the three stripes done like a reflective black color. And surround the ankle area, we do have some padding, and that is done in like a dark gray slash light black color. If you look at the insoles, we do have a foam insole, and the bottom on the heel, we do have the Trefo logo. And on the top, we do have a black textile liner. And stamped on the heel, it's just for the right side. We do have the Easy logo, and right next to that, the Badger Sport logo, done in like a light black slash dark gray color. On the left side, on the heel, we have the Recycled Globe logo, and right next to that is the Easy logo again, also done in like that dark gray slash light black color. The whole upper of the sneaker sits on top of this full length boost midsole. And actually, the boost midsole is encapsulated in this semi translucent black rubber outsole. Flipping it towards the bottom of the sneaker, you can see the boost midsole and the punch out. On the heel, we do have the words boost. I said it before in my other video, I'll say it again. Boost is comfortable. Although we've seen some Easy T50 V2 models done in black before, for example, like the Mix Rock, Breads, or the Black Reflective, Non Reflective, we haven't actually seen like a full trip black colorway before. Closer would be the Black Reflective, Non Reflective, basically looks the same as these, except in those sneakers. On the heel tab, we do have the red stitching across. So, with Adidas now having a triple white colorway, it makes sense to have a triple black colorway. And if I recall correctly, I think these were just an Adidas confirmed app exclusive. So you won't be, or you wouldn't be able to get these anywhere else. For example, like Shoe Palace. I tried looking for a raffle there, do you have the raffle for the bone? I also like the look of the triple white colorway better just because it looked more clean. But when I saw that they're releasing an all black color, I knew I had to grab them as well just because you can't go wrong with an all black pair of shoes or black shoes in general. These would be good to wear on days where it's not so sunny here in Hawaii. For example, when it's like raining a little bit or just drizzling a little bit. Yes, in Hawaii it does rain. It's not always so sunny like a few weeks ago or past few weeks. It's been wet. Not too wet where it's just like light showers. Or even today where it was slightly drizzling in the morning when I was at work. Now when it comes to sizing, I say I go with whatever you wear in easy 350 V2s. But if you haven't worn them before, I say go half size up as these tend to run small. And actually compared to my other pair of EZ350 V2s, I feel like this isn't as snug. And I think it has to do something with the midfoot because it is a bit thinner compared to the rest of the sneaker. I could be wrong, but that's just me. What do you guys think? But I know for sure that if it went my true to size, it would have been too tight already just because I have wide feet. And just the feeling of my toes already, I know that it would have been way too snug. 
So I say you go a half size up. All right, so with the review out of the way, let's lace them up and show what they look like on feet. Alright everyone, that's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and as always, let me know down in the comments below if you were to copy these or did you pass on these. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It helped me grow my channel. I'm almost at 200 subs. I know they ain't much, but small goals. So shout out to my new and existing subscribers. You guys are awesome. I know sometimes I can go a small while without posting up any videos. I do apologize. I do get caught up with other stuff or just life in general. But I'll try my best to put up more videos for you guys to watch more content. So make sure you are subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shoots and aloha.